Friends, last night we spoke about the need to be doing something in the middle of a crisis. But not everyone is wired to be physically busy in times of stress. However, the one thing we all share in common is worry, allowing our minds and our hearts to constantly dwell on uncertainty, difficulties or troubles. Worry seems like a natural part of life for us. But worry, though often just below the surface, can be very harmful too. It keeps our hearts and minds in a permanent state of anxiety. So then what happens? It turns out that these fight or flight hormones keep pumping in us and we feel like we are always in hyper alert mode. And being hyper alert is most certainly not conducive to a calm demeanor and certainly not conducive to a restful night's sleep. And this is especially so when the trouble impacts us on multiple levels and there's no immediate end in sight. We worry about the threat of the virus and ill health that it will cause. We worry about a downturn in the economy, sending us into recession. We worry about the loss of regular income or even a job. Also about our loved ones who are sick and vulnerable and isolated. So Jesus knew that we were prone to worry. And he recognized that it stemmed from a view of life that focused only on what we can see. And he saw that worry works against faith by taking God out of our picture. And so this is what he reminds us of in his famous Sermon on the Mount. This is what he says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? And then he reminds us to look at the birds of the air, he says. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns. And yet our heavenly Father feeds them. And then he asks these two questions. Are you not much more valuable to God than they? And then he cautions us. Can any one of you add a single hour to your life by worrying? The answer obviously is no. So this evening, friends... Remember that God cares about you. And remember God is always working in unseen ways, often behind the scenes, to ensure that you will have what you need. This is seeing with eyes of faith. So let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, thank you that we are precious to you and that you know exactly what we need in every circumstance. Thank you that you are always looking after us Help us to rest secure in your provision and care, we pray. Amen.